Hey everybody, welcome into this edition of the Top 5 from Tony Spot on Fishing. I'm your host, Tony Grizek, back again talking king salmon. That clock is ticking, the countdown is on, and we are just moments away from hopefully a phenomenal 2019 king season. So without further ado, let's talk about the top five locations in Chicago you need to be focusing on to catch some of these fall kings. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is DuSable Harbor. Now, DuSable does not really come up in many conversations about kings. It's really a sleeper harbor, and it's only talked about in those small circles of diehard king anglers. Great later on in the run when we're floating spawn, so make sure you get some eggs from the females a little earlier, you know, throwing some spoons and crankbaits at some of these other locations we're going to talk about. Save some of that stuff up, either keep it fresh and frozen, or you can cure it. But the store-bought jar stuff is not going to work. It's just that simple. Make sure you got the real deal. And make sure you get the parking pass from Henry's in the city. Uh, If you don't, it is a long, and I mean long, walk for DeSable. But phenomenal harbor late in the year for float and spawn. Definitely something you need to check out. Up next is the most famous harbor probably in all of Chicagoland, not just for the kings, but probably any shorebound fishing for that matter, from smallmouth and perch to, you know, back in the day of the smelt, which are none really existent anymore. But that's for another topic of another day. We are talking Montrose Harbor and very easy parking at Montrose, which is one reason it gets the most fishing pressure. But... It also offers quite a bit of opportunities and places to fish that make it pretty darn good and really worth fishing. The first, of course, is the horseshoe area, which is a little pathway we can walk out onto and gives us some access to deeper water, especially great early on in the run when those kings are first coming in. As the run progresses, we can work our way back from the horseshoe all the way to the mouth of the harbor. Those jetties off the mouth are good and then inside the harbor. So a lot of great water to fish. However, if you're not a fan of crowds, Montrose might be one to leave off the list, but there's no doubt it produces fish every year and really has to always be in conversation for a harbor to hit. Coming up next is Belmont Harbor. And again, another one that only comes up in conversation here and there. And I think a reason for that is is some of the limited parking that there is for Belmont. And it's kind of hard to really get a big group out there and and fish it really hard but if you can get some of those parking spots and fish belmont it's well worth it i especially love fishing the mouth of the harbor there a good deep hole a deep washout whatever you want to call it those kings will really stack in there really well and to me it's definitely a harbor that doesn't get talked about enough and should really be on a lot more people's radars belmont's pretty darn good now another staple of chicagoland salmon fishing is our second pick, Burnham Harbor. Now, probably for one location, Burnham gives you the most water you can fish in one parking spot. There is so many different waters and different stages of the run that we can fish at Burnham. Early on, when those fish are still lakeside and coming in, we can fish basically lakeside from the the Adler Planetarium all the way to the Shedd Aquarium and we have a chance of picking off these fish as they're first coming in. As they start to just enter those harbors, the the south end of Burnham Harbor has good deep water, and we can access that from Northerly Island or the McCormick Place shoreline. And again, gives us great access as those fish start to stage at the mouth of that harbor in the deeper water. As they move into the harbor, another great spot is near the boat ramp at Burnham. Very good early in the morning and very good after the sun is down and it's, you know, we're under the cover of darkness. Great time to hit that location. And of course, the most famous spot in all of Burnham is the pipe. Now the pipe or the tube, whatever you want to call it, is actually where they can regulate water levels in the harbor. They can either pump water out back lakeside or pull water in to maintain the water levels that they want. The kings love it. They will stack in that that tunnel, that pipe, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see a lot of guys lakeside and harborside both float and spawn in that area. And when the kings are stacked in it, 
you can see them. You'll see them swimming in and out, in and out. A lot of guys will fish it, but hey, it's well worth it, and it'll always produce fish for you. Just have to time it right to get your spot close enough to the pipe to make it worth it once they're stacked there. Last but certainly not least, it's time. Our top pick, number one for Chicago, Diversity Harbor. Every spot on fishing salmon show has been filmed at Diversity. It's just that good. It offers a three great locations, really. Lakeside, just north, or I'm sorry, just south, rather, of the harbor mouth. There's a decent little flat or a shelf that comes up out of deep water. And these kings will kind of stage at the edge of it and kind of use it as to a way or a guide to follow into the harbor area. And that's usually a good area to start out at. From there, we can move, fish the mouth of the harbor area. And if we're not finding kings there, we'll usually always be able to find them just north of the harbor mouth. There's a good deep hole and a deeper channel and those fish come in, they stage in the deep hole first, then set up in the channel, and then run into the harbor. Phenomenal area. Probably, actually, I believe every show we've filmed at Diversity has been in that location. Once you're inside the harbor and those fish are stacked in there, we can float spawn all around the mouth of the harbor area. And just back south as well on that shoreline is all really good water inside. So there you have it, folks. That is our picks for the top five locations in Chicago for king salmon fishing. What are some of your favorite locations? Where do you guys and girls love to fish the kings? Let us know in the comments below. We always love talking fishing with our viewers. But that's about it. All the time we have for this week. Keep hoping those west winds start blowing and get all that hot water out, bring the cool water in, and let's go catch some kings. It is time for Chicago to return to some glory. Decent numbers, looking back four years ago at some of the stocking numbers, hopefully this is going to be a good, decent run. May not be quite as good as the numbers we see in southern Wisconsin, but if the stars align and we get the conditions, we should be pretty good this year. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you again next time, right here on Tony's Spot on Fishing.